Right, my name is Kofi Moli, Apostle Gangster, and I'm from West Africa, Ghana to be precise, in a city called Kumasi. Um, growing up, I love hip hop music so much because my, my big brother used to play hip hop at home back in the days. So I eventually had love for it, and I came from a neighborhood where all the kids were influenced by hip hop. We loved rap, the way we dressed, everything was like strictly hip hop. I remember listening to people like Joe Wayne, and he's one of the major people who influenced me. I wrote raps, I wrote raps, and I spit it to my friends, they loved it, but I didn't want to pursue it because my parents wanted me to pursue other stuff, something professional other than music. Typically, coming from Ghana, your parents want you to be like a bank manager, doctor, like, you know, working in those kind of sectors. When I got to high school, I used to write raps on my own. I used to speak to my friends in the dormitory. Students in school never knew I was rapping because you would never see me at entertainment halls. I was just in my dormitory rapping to my friends. After high school, um, I gained admission to the University of Ghana in Accra. So I had to move from Kumasi to pursue university. And then, luckily for me, I, I reconnected to my big brother, CBU, again. He was already here. He has already established himself. And he was selling clothes, shoes, like everything around hip hop culture, hip hop apparel. So I joined him. That's where I made money to finance my music at that time. And then at a point, I felt like I should drop out from school because I wasn't getting my time to pursue my music. So I had to and then join my brother full time and then it was just selling the music. If I make money from market, I would take it to the studio to record, to shoot my little, little videos. Trying to get people to hear your music. Though it's interesting, but it hasn't been cool to like you're very challenging because you're doing everything like 360, everything. I got introduced to Tinko after dropping my first tape, Spread the News. Then I realized that I wanted to own 100% like of my music and then I wanted my music to go out there, my music to reach match people all around the world. So I decided to choose Tinko. And then my journey with Tinko has been amazing. With Tinko, I've been able to drop major singles like Dominate, Yabre, Mensa, and I've been able to drop another tape to Apostle Love. It's amazing because I'm getting what I wanted. And I have total control of my music. And my numbers are up, my, my music, is played in so many countries when when, when I check the stats. Um, I think in every continent they are playing Kofi Mole's music and then it has been with the help of Team Call. So with Team Call, I hope to increase my reach and get a lot of people, more people listening to my song all around the world. And I'll be able to tour so I meet them wherever they are, wherever they are listening to my music and then give out more music too and keep on entertaining my fans all day and every day. Against that. Yeah, when I saw the time. Juicy, what a drum's ass.